The Cradle series by Will White occurs on the world named Cradle. The magic system is based on Vital Aura, which is the spiritual energy and power that flows through the world and takes on different aspects as it moves through the heavens and the earth connecting all of Cradle. All things generate and gather aura in a cycle of creation, cultivation, and consumption. As an example, as Vital Aura passes through a stone, the stone will begin to build Earth Aura. An ordinary stone will only have a bit of Earth Aura, but as the centuries pass, it will continue absorbing power from the Earth until it becomes a natural treasure. Natural treasures emit flavored or aspected aura, such as the stone that will emit Earth Aura. Left undisturbed long enough, natural treasures reach the pinnacle and will become the ultimate source of their aura. For example, Titan's bone is the ultimate source of Earth Aura. Heaven's torch is the ultimate source of fire aura. Tear of the Deep is the ultimate source of water aura, and Heart's Gem is the ultimate source of blood aura. One would think that Cradle would be full of mountains made of Titan's bone and oceans full of Tears of the Deep, but that is not the case. People, called sacred artists, have an endless appetite and can harvest, cultivate, or cycle this aura for their own advancement, which diminishes the power of the natural treasure. Advancement is the endless hunt for greater and greater sources of power. Cycling is the act of purposefully absorbing and processing vital aura into the soul, or core, of the sacred artist. The core is where the condensed spiritual energy called madra is stored and naturally regenerates. Aura is like a gas permeating all of existence on cradle. Madra is denser, like a liquid within a sacred artist. All sacred artists start out with unflavored or unaspected madra within their core referred to as pure madra. As sacred artists harvest or cycle vital aura into their cores, it 1. permanently changes the aspect of the madra generated within the core based on the aspect of vital aura absorbed, 2. permanently increases the power or density of the madra within the core, and 3. temporarily accelerates madra recovery of the core. The stronger the source of vital aura, the stronger the madra will be within the core of a sacred artist. Cycling patterns can have many different purposes, some of which are processing aura efficiently, recovering used madra, increasing the power or density of madra within the core, or increasing the capacity of the core. Madra aspects generally consist of one or two combined aspects, but can occasionally consist of even more. Due to this, they are nigh limitless in their combinations. The most common aspects of madra are fire, earth, wind, water, force, blood, and life. Other common examples of madra aspects include sword, which is just force madra condensed to a sharp edge, shadow, light and dreams, fire and destruction, and storm, which is a combination of water, wind, and lightning. Another option is to keep madra pure by never harvesting vital aura, since there are no natural treasures that can act as sources of pure vital aura. The disadvantage to this is that a sacred artist cannot easily strengthen the power of their madra or quickly replenish spent madra. Solutions to these issues include the use of parasite rings and elixirs, which will be discussed in later videos. Madra can have interesting interactions with the world, depending on the aspect it carries. Pure madra is second to none for attacking and defending the spirit. But since there is no pure aura to control, there are no traditional ruler techniques for those who utilize pure madra. More on ruler techniques will be discussed later. Blood, death, life, and dream madra are super effective against the living, but inanimate objects are immune to them. Life madra will cut away the lifeline or life expectancy of a target, leaving no physical damage to the body. Dream madra will cause the feeling of intense pain, but will not damage the body or other inanimate objects. Another application of cycling is taking a portion of the madra from the core and moving it throughout the body's madra channels, like a heart pumping blood through a circulatory system. Madra can be moved throughout the channels and out of the body in unique patterns called techniques to affect the world around them. Techniques can be separated into the following four distinct categories, enforcer, striker, ruler, and forger techniques. An enforcer technique is when a sacred artist will cycle their madra through their body or a weapon in order to make it stronger, more powerful, or faster, basically enforcing the individual or object. Some pop culture examples of enforcer techniques include personal buffs, like the superstar in Mario games, or weapon buffs, like a flaming sword. Examples of enforcer techniques within Cradle include full-body enforcer techniques that strengthen a body to move faster, or attack techniques that increase the strength of a punch or the sharpness of a sword. 
A striker technique is when a sacred artist will force their madra out of their body to create a long-range attack in order to strike a distant target. Pop culture examples of striker techniques include Samus's charge shot, Goku's Kamehameha from Dragon Ball, and Dragon's Breathing Fire. Examples of striker techniques within Cradle include a sword strike that continues to travel long after the attack was made, and of course, Dragon's Breathing Fire. A ruler technique is when the sacred artist uses their madra to affect similarly aspected aura around them to create large area of effect attacks, ruling or controlling the aura nearby. Pop culture examples of ruler techniques include Jigglypuff singing to create a field of drowsiness and Aang from Avatar the Last Airbender bending the elements around him to his will. Examples of ruler techniques within Cradle include using Dream Madra to induce hallucinations in opponents within a certain area, or using Sword Aura to cut everything that's close to other sources of Sword Aura. As a fun fact, if insufficient vital aura of the correct aspect is nearby, natural treasures can be used to provide the necessary vital aura. Another fun fact is that ruler techniques can influence external aura and Madra much more easily than aura within a sacred artist's body. This makes it difficult for blood ruler techniques to control bodies like bloodbending and avatar. A forger technique is when the sacred artist expels madra out of their body and forges or solidifies it in order to create a more stable, long-lasting, or specifically shaped external form of madra. Continuing with the previous idea, aura is like a gas permeating all of existence on cradle, madra is denser, like a liquid, and when forged, madra is like a solid. Some pop culture references of forger techniques include the blocks made in Minecraft or the energy constructs created by a green lantern. Examples within Cradle include creating barriers for display cases within a treasure hall and sword strikes, where the edges stay stationary in the air for several hours. An important note regarding forging is that this is a technique one needs to master to be a certain type of crafter within Cradle called a soulsmith, which will be discussed in a future video. Another fun fact is that forger techniques can be imbued with the will of their own, to temporarily act independent of the sacred artist. Again, more on that will be discussed in a future video. Mixed or layered techniques can be utilized, in which a sacred artist combines multiple techniques into one. Some examples include creating an arrow with shadow, poison, and sword aspects, or creating a semi-permanent sword that actively pursues enemies. Some sacred artists will have one technique in each of the four categories, while others might focus exclusively on striker or enforcer techniques. A final note regarding techniques is that when used frequently, the pattern or madra pathway corresponding to the techniques begins to solidify within the channels of the spirit. This makes the techniques easier and faster to use, and these patterns are referred to as bindings. A specific combination of techniques cycling patterns, and madra aspects form the basis of a path. Paths can take many, many forms, as there are countless techniques, cycling patterns, and madra aspects. Examples of prominent paths within the beginning of the Cradle series include the Path of the White Fox and the Path of the Endless Sword. The Path of the White Fox utilizes a madra combination of light and dreams. The enforcer technique is called the Foxtail, which bends light and perception to hide movement. The striker technique, Foxfire, can be thrown like a ball of fire and inflicts the illusion of immense pain. This is a spiritual attack and makes it more painful for those inflicted with Foxfire to use their own techniques to retaliate. The ruler technique on the path of the white fox is called the Fox Dream. This technique floods an area with white fox madra, affecting all who enter the area with unique dreams and illusions. Finally, the forger technique creates a forged illusion that can be used to hide oneself behind an illusory wall or create a realistic but insubstantial duplicate. It is called the Fox Mirror. The Path of the Endless Sword exclusively utilizes sword madra. The Enforcer technique is called the Flowing Sword, which increases the strength of sword strikes the longer the technique is held. This is actually an example of a mixed technique. The Flowing Sword uses the infused madra to gather nearby sword aura to sharpen the blade. The Striker technique the Rippling Sword releases a sword strike that starts at the blade and continues on into the distance. The Ruler Technique resonates with all nearby sword aura, releasing a flurry of sword strikes on everything close to a blade. This is the main technique of the path, and thus is called the Endless Sword. While practitioners on the path of the Endless Sword can forge sword madra, there are no standard forger techniques on the path. The pursuit of power on Cradle through the use of paths, advancement, and fighting styles 
is called the sacred arts. Sacred arts are defined as the path of refining the spirit and pursuing connection to all of creation. <clears throat> Monarchs. <clears throat> the artwork used in the video was created by these wonderful artists. Additionally, I'd like to give a special shout out to the two amazing individuals who have repeatedly made high quality cradle fan art fellcandy.art and summer sky. Links to their content can be found in the description below. I hope to make more videos summarizing the magic and advancement within Cradle, as well as some book recaps, both with and without spoilers. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe.